Islam means to come into peace and to provide others with peace. This is actual meanings of Islam. So Quran says that O oh people, O oh believers, Ya Yuhalladin Amanu, addressing the believers, that you should adopt the path of peace in true sense and in complete sense. It's not something you often hear from a leading Muslim scholar, a fatwa, a religious declaration that unequivocally states terrorism and suicide bombings are the biggest enemies of Islam. A comprehensive 600-page religious edict that harshly condemns terror attacks, condemning suicide attackers to hell and disowning them from Islam. Available online in English, Arabic and Urdu, the fatwa meticulously sources the Quran and other classical Islamic texts. It's viewed as arguably the most comprehensive theological rejection of terrorism to date, something a silent Muslim majority has long demanded, he says. Sheikh Mohammed Tahir Al Qadri takes the stage to a packed auditorium, preaching peace and love, also tolerance, but not for radical extremists. They become extremists, they become terrorists, they become violent, they become militant. So, if you adopt this kind of character, your every single mandatory act of worship would be rejected, would be rejected, would be rejected. I'm trying to spiritualize you so that every single person of you may become de-radicalized. The reality is that they who are waiting for a long, long time to get this kind of kind of voice, their hearts had become, they had become desert and uh, their spirits and their souls, they were thirsty. And unfortunately, the, the, the peaceful people are always silent. They don't create news. This is Islam, which introduced the whole mankind with mercy, with peace, with global unity, and with dignity of mankind. That was the time at the raising of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when the total dignity of mankind was lost, when there was a system of brutality all over the world. People were cutting the necks of each other. There was racial discrimination, religious discrimination, tribal discrimination. There was no respect for slaves. Islam stood up for the poor people. Islam stood up for the oppressed people. Islam stood up for the orphans, stood up for women, stood up for children. And he gave the respect, he gave the dignity to the whole mankind, irrespective of their religion irrespective of their culture, irrespective of their race. So this is Islam who came for the unity at the globe. This is Islam who came for promotion of peace at this globe. This is Islam who came for the dignity of mankind on this globe. Definitely people are getting confused and we're you know, worrying about their identity. What does it mean to be a Muslim? Does it mean to be something like this? It's really an amazing feeling to know that, you know, it's like official, something's happened. I just wish it happened a whole lot earlier. So if I see all those people, the boys, girls, everyone with their Islamic clothes, it makes me happy. And uh, in Holland, uh, I miss that feeling. Yes, you really missed something last year because uh, one of the lectures was about uh, women's rights. I cried for like two hours on a row. revive ourselves, our religion. We need to revive our message. We need to show the world that Islam could only be seen when we behave like the Prophet used to Islam behave. Islam came to teach, teach us something that we affirm dignity for every human, for every creation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and that is because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa, alayhi wa sallam, is a mercy for everything. This is the crisis of the Muslims today, basically. 
that we're terrified by the asbab and the fact that everybody's out to get us and things are really going wrong, rather than, as the traditional mu'min said, Hasbunallah wa na'ma al-qeel. Are you ready to declare this, give a declaration showing the unity of global peace, unity, that you condemn every act of terrorism? committed by any person or state and you are for peace and you are against suicide bombings and against terrorism do you agree with us raise your hands raise your hands